You may remember back in October, the Mexican Congress was presented with the bodies of two supposed extraterrestrials discovered in Peru. Were those real alien bodies or could they be a part of a larger end time deception? By Satan? And how is Hollywood conditioning us to accept the existence of alien life? That's what I'm going to be talking about in this video as I share a clip with you from a previous video of mine entitled, If It Were Not Uncovered, No One Would Believe It. But before I do that, if you're new to this channel, my name is Greg Sarita. I make Christian videos discussing Bible prophecy, Bible questions answered, and Bible doctrine, among other things. So if you'd like to learn more about the Bible, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you get notified of my future uploads. Now for the clip. I got a question for you. What do you think about the Mexican alien? Did you see that? <laughs> I did, yeah. We actually covered that just this last week on the channel. Um, it's, it's, it's an interesting story. Um, we, we see this all the time. So what happened was um, Congress in the U.S. had a big... Uh, uh, display. They had a, a lot of pilots come out and they said, this is happening. We're, we're pilots in the military and we're Pentagon officials and we want to tell Congress that you are being lied to. And there's big programs that um, funds are being funneled into to study this stuff. And you guys should know about it because Congress acts as a, uh, a, a watcher of the government. And if they can't see what's going on, it's a big problem for the way our government is set up. So, so something similar happened in Mexico where they said, we want to do this too. We have the same issues. And we're discovering that every major country is having these strange uh, issues. They're having a study program done on UAP or UFOs. And, um, but Mexico comes and they're like, yeah, we, we need to talk about this. And let's invite not only uh, our Pentagon officials, but let's invite people that have studied this also that in, in our uh, society. So they invited these uh, UFO researchers and they, they came out with these, what they called uh, alien bodies. And so you have a yeah. legitimate uh, pilot coming up there and saying, we're seeing stuff. And then they come out with alien bodies and he's just beside himself going, what is going on here? I didn't, I wasn't told about this. And so uh, he, he says stuff on Twitter about it. He's, he calls it a, um, a, a display and, and uh, this, this, terrible rhetoric and all this other stuff that happened. He said, I wasn't in, uh, informed about this. But what we're seeing is, uh, I don't believe what we are seeing are actual alien bodies. But what Satan right. does is he uses anything he has to continue this message. So if people are lying about this, if they've made stuff, if they've, they've, uh, they've said that these things are real, he'll use that to, to talk about, to, to make people, to seed the mind with the idea that there are extraterrestrials until he has permission from God to appear to leadership and, and things like that. So I think that's what we're seeing right now. Right. I didn't dig too deep into that story either because I was immediately convinced that that was not a real <laughs> alien, that that Mexican guy rolled down. <laughs> It's really fascinating. But I mean, we've been seeded by this forever, not only just by these these uh, aliens that were put together through animal bones and whatnot, and, and, but also by Hollywood and, and any other uh, form of media. We have, um, I mean, think about every major Hollywood production, Transformers, Lilo and Stitch, major, major, uh, like of Star Wars. I mean, it seems like every month comes out with a new movie about how aliens are good or bad, and they're here to either help or destroy. So I think there's there's major seeding going on just through the idea that, uh, hey, something out there is beyond us, and it's not our moral authority. And so even the news has come back and said that, hey, uh, maybe we're believing this stuff because of what we're seeing in, in Hollywood. Anyway. Yeah, that's fascinating. So how Hollywood through all of these movies are actually conditioning us for communication with aliens, which is really just demons in disguise. Right, right, exactly. Yeah, really fascinating stuff. And it's kind of not surprising coming out of Hollywood with all the <laughs> dark things that come out of Hollywood. Exactly. It's hard to tell exactly what those supposed alien mummies really were. I personally don't think they were the bodies of extraterrestrials. Interestingly enough, there's an update to this story. An online post entitled, Mexican Congress Holds Second UFO Session Featuring Peruvian Mummies, states, At Tuesday's session, Musan, 
That's the name of the ufologist who presented the alien mummies to the Mexican Congress, was more focused on proving the bodies, which were not on display this time, were not fake, ushering in a string of doctors who all said the bodies were those of real, once living organisms. An anthropologist named Roger Zuniga was also quoted as saying, there was absolutely no human intervention in the physical and biological formation of these beings. In other words, they are claiming this is not something that was pieced together with a paper mache and animal bones or something like that. These are complete remains of beings that once lived. And an x-ray of the Peruvian mummies seems to confirm that. Forgive me if I still have my doubts. What do you think these mummies are? Let me know in the comments down below. Whatever these Peruvian mummies are, Satan can be using them along with Hollywood movies to condition us to believe in the existence of extraterrestrials to set us up for a grand and time deception. Find out what that is by clicking on the screen to watch the full interview between me and Bradley Burnham entitled, If It Were Not Uncovered, No One Would Believe It. Please also like and share this video to help spread God's word. Thank you for watching and God bless you.